Hello, I'm Pinakin Dave, Professor of Optometry at Western University of Health Sciences, and here I present my research on macular pigment optical density. Age-related macular degeneration is at epidemic proportions. It is the number one cause of legal blindness in the developed world. Macular pigment is hypothesized and is possibly one of the alterable risk factors in the development and progression of macular degeneration. Macular pigment in the retina helps vision as it absorbs stray light. It quenches the free radicals, thus preventing oxidative damage to the retina, and it also absorbs the blue light, which may lead to retinal damage. We evaluated a heterochromatic flick of photometer for its repeatability, correlation of results between eyes, and the effect of ocular dominance. The overarching goal was to evaluate and create a protocol that could be utilized both clinically as well as for future research studies. We performed the test twice on the patient. Both right eye and left eye were evaluated. And the dominant eye was evaluated or examined by a technique called Miles technique. Here is the picture of a heterochromatic flick of photometer that we utilized and the graphs that it produces. We can see in these graphs that each of these graphs, graphs have a smooth downward trend and a lowest point and three optic marks. These were the criteria that were utilized to evaluate the quality of the graph. Examining the repeatability using Altman and Bland technique, we find that the limits of agreement are tight. There is no bias between the first and second measurement. And the coefficient of repeatability was in the range of 0.1 to 0.12. A value greater than 0.12, MPOD units can be considered as a significant change or deviation of either in either direction. The right eye and left eye correlated highly, and the results from one eye could predict the results of the other eye with an accuracy of 89%. Ocular dominance did not influence macular pigment optical density levels. In summary, we find the heterochromatic flicker photometer that we evaluated can produce repeatable results with minimal training of subjects. It clinically, it's sufficient to perform the test on just one eye, and ocular dominance does not play a role in the MPOD measurements or its values. Thank you very much.